I'd like to present our study, Coronary Artery Calcium Score, Prediction of All-Cause Mortality and Cardiovascular Events in Patients with Type 2 Diabetes, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. Hi, my name is Caroline Kramer. I'm a research fellow at the University of Toronto. And today I'm going to talk about coronary artery calcium and predictor of events in patients with type 2 diabetes. So coronary artery calcium has been shown to predict the risk of cardiovascular events and mortality in general population. But this association in patients with type 2 diabetes is less clear. So we conducted a systematic review and meta-analysis to evaluate this association. The coronary artery calcium score is a measure of the total amount of calcium in the coronary arteries and is obtained from a CT scan. A coronary artery calcium score, CACS, greater than or equal to 10 means that there is a significant amount of calcified plaque in the coronary arteries. In this slide, we can see an example of a positive scan. The arrow is pointing to a coronary calcification. In this study, our research question is what is the association of coronary artery calcium with mortality and cardiovascular events in patients with type 2 diabetes? To answer this question, we perform a systematic review and meta-analysis, which include prospective studies that evaluated baseline coronary artery calcium in patients with type 2 diabetes and subsequent all-cause mortality and cardiovascular events. We consider the exposure, the presence of coronary artery calcium higher than 10 as compared to lower than 10. And our primary outcome was the incidence of all-cause mortality and cardiovascular events. This is the flu diagram of our literature searches. We identify more than 400 studies from Medline in base diabetes and cardiology meetings. Of these studies, 18 were evaluated further. And finally, eight studies were included in this analysis, providing data for more than 6,000 patients who had more than 800 events in 5.1 years of follow-up. Pulling the data of these eight studies, we can see that patients with coronary artery calcium higher than 10 had increased risk for future events as compared to those with lower than 10. The relative risk was 5.4. This slide shows the predicting performance of a coronary artery calcium of 10. And here I'd like to highlight the negative likelihood ratio, which is strikingly low at 0.1. This low negative likelihood ratio means that the coronary artery calcium score is especially helpful in patients with type 2 diabetes if it's negative. And to illustrate that, we can see here in a base normal gram the pretest probability of events in this population, which is 12%. And if you follow the dashed line, we can see that for patients with coronary artery calcium score lower than 10, the post-test probability of events is 1.8%, which means a 6.8-fold reduction from their pre-test probability. In conclusion, our findings demonstrate that coronary artery calcium score predicts all-cause mortality and cardiovascular events in patients with type 2 diabetes, and patients with coronary artery calcium score lower than 10, were 6.8 times less likely to have an event. The question remains whether performing coronary artery calcium will impact the incidence of events, and we still need randomized control trials to evaluate that. Our results suggest the need for further investigation, particularly owing to the implications that a negative screening test may hold for the clinical certification in this patient population. 